You there? Hello. Episode two. Woo-hoo. Thank you so much for all your feedback about episode one. Um, I'm really, really grateful for all the great feedback and advice and things from you guys. So, and I'm really happy that um, most of you told me that you enjoy it. Um, so, I'm back for the second week. So, it's International Women's Day today, and I will be dedicating this episode to women out there. And I'll be speaking to two very special women who are doing great things for uh, women's issues in Malaysia and globally. So, I'm very, very happy uh, to have them on the show. So, I'm going to talk to them right now. Hi! Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, I can. I oh. can. You look great. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, you look nice as well. You you you're telling me that you have never been getting any not enough sleep, but you look like you have enough sleep. No, can you see this? This is a zit. Okay, it's a zit. I haven't had zits in like seven years, and look. So this I is. Slept. This is women one hundred, and what were you saying? Women one hundred, hundred hours of lack of sleep. Is it? More than that, I'm sure. To do one hundred hours of performing hours is really. I think one hundred thousand hours of not sleeping. So what's okay? So what's the whole point of this whole thing? I mean, it's it's women in arts. It's you know International Women's Day. It's hundred anniversary of the of the the Women's Day and stuff. Well, actually, for us, when we first started the entire project, um, it's not noble like oh we want to you know it's not exactly like that. The point here is uh, basically we need to use performing arts as a medium, but the issue, uh, what we're trying to reach out to, I mean, what is it that we're talking about? Our women issues. It's as simple as that. Uh, we want to show that performing arts is a really kick-ass tool uh, to, to use uh, to, to get certain messages out and to get uh, people involved. It's a, it's a great opportunity when we realize that it is a 100 year of uh, International Women's Day and we can actually do 100 hours of performing arts. Yep. So it's like, yo, let's go in this new thing together and, you know, let's go. And it makes perfect sense, right? Because you just took over Kaki Sani, which... which... Uh, went dormant about a year or so ago. What are we expecting? I mean, like I know there's a lot of shows going on. I'm going to miss all of them, obviously, being here. Are you sure? Yeah. Not even one? You're not coming back even for one? Yeah. How? No, no, okay, give me the details now, then I'll see whether I can arrange something. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we have very good lineups. Uh, we had a prelude with uh, Life Syndrome for Heart 6, right? So mm. uh, we had a lot of uh, real stories about women being abused. Yeah. Uh, and that's really, really heart wrenching to yeah. watch, really. And it opened up a lot of people's minds. People never been to theatre. I got shock of their life. Okay, but anyway, that's one yeah. of the shows that yeah. we are doing. So from the launch date, which is on the eighth of eighth uh, of March, uh, the International Women's Day itself, we are launching with this huge show featuring some um, sixteen or more celebrities mm. uh, uh, reading uh, write ups articles which are done by other women and other men as well about women. You know, women directed by Ida Narina. And then after that, after which, from the 9th onwards until uh, mid of April, it'll be every single day there'll be shows. Yes, you better come. You better come. Come down, come down. And I will... <laughs> yeah, but you wear it like that, you carry it under that, it comes upside down for some reason. Oh yeah, because it's the other way. <laughs> the mirror image. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. It's your, it's your first Skype call, right? Yeah. No, I'm great. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so happy for you. I'm, I'm really glad for Kaki Sani. And of course, i got so many friends who are involved in the show, so... Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, everybody uh, cannot imagine. I think at the end, or either on the 8, I will start crying already. You cannot imagine the stress we are in, okay? Okay, okay I'll, I'll send some tissue paper over. <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, thanks so much. I'll catch you soon. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Because you've been unwell. Ah, uh, yeah, getting better, getting better. It's a good time to, I don't know whether it's a good time to find out that you made it to the top 100 influential people when you're not feeling well. Mm, yeah, <laughs> you don't feel influential when you have a cold. <laughs> but congratulations. <laughs> Contagious and infectious, but not influential. <laughs> yeah, you... Actually, you, you inspiring people, not influential. Oh, inspiring people, well, congratulations. I think a lot of people will, you know, agree with me that it's very deserving. So I'm very, very happy for you and uh, Zaina, Auntie Zai as well. Thank you. Did you know you were going to get it? 
Well, you know, they contacted me through my blog okay. and they came through the comments box and said, can you send us your email? I had no idea, you know, what, what it was all about. I didn't really, I don't know. I mean, there's so many list things. Mm. So I didn't really think about it. And then they came out with this press release. So that was a bit of a shock. Yeah. And it, it's, it's quite good timing, right? Because, um, well, this video is going to come out on International Women's Day. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, um, two Malaysian women making the list is, is, is a great achievement. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, so, are you doing anything for International Women's Day? Yeah, well, you know, it, there are lots of things going on. Um, today, I just recorded a TV interview uh, also for International Women's Day, which will be shown in a couple of weeks. Uh, tomorrow morning, I have to go and do a radio interview. Um, and then in the afternoon, there's in, in the evening, about 6 o'clock, uh, the Young Women's Caucus of Musawa, Musawa and yes. are doing something at... Um, uh, the field in front of uh, Manara and Bank at PJ. Yeah, I got I got an email, a uh, Facebook invite from Joanna, but well, I, can't, right. I can't make it. So yeah, so I'm trying to go to that, and then after that, I'm trying to go to that Women One Hundred thing that Nguyen Yuan is doing. Yeah, I well, I got Nguyen on on um who's gonna appear in this this video clip as well at the same time. Yeah. I want, I want to ask you, okay, this 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 is coming from a guy, right? So something like International Women's Day, and I think one of the thing that Women One Hundred is doing is trying to get guys to talk about women's issues as well. Yeah. So what's your take on that whole thing? I mean, like, how involved do men need to be? Well, look, you know, I think men need to be involved because, you know, they're, they're not separated from women, you know, in real life. And I think everything that affects women also affects men. Um, so, you know, why not? It, it, it's really not a single sex world. Mm. You know, you've been doing this, this whole, I mean, I know you deal a lot now with um, women and Islam and stuff, but you obviously have been, you know, a strong voice for women's issues for a very long time. Are you seeing improvement? I mean, like, it's 2011, 2011, or are we, like, still ketinggalan? Well, let, let me illustrate something, you know. There is an organization that is organizing a workshop uh, just this past weekend, I think, and it was called How to Hypnotize Your Husband Before Someone Else Dies. <laughs> I'm now, sorry, <laughs> I mean, in 2011, people still think that this is a worthwhile workshop to do. And they still work at this type of things. I think we haven't moved at all. You know, there are so many important things um, that we need to do to, to redress all these uh, issues, starting from education and laws and policies and everything. And people are worried about, you know, whether someone will hypnotize their husband. I mean... I think it's sad. It's really sad. It is, it is, it is. You know, a lot of people think that women's issues are for women and nothing to do with the rest. Whereas, you know, men, you know, have to be involved in politics and economics and science and everything else, you know. And, Which is and quite ridiculous, right, when you think about it. Ah, that little bit is just for women, you know, as if we are not interested. I mean, this interview I was doing today, uh, I was pointing out to this guy uh, who was interviewing us that, you know, why is it that it's only International Women's Day that you ask women to come and comment. Whereas on other days, you don't ask. Mm. As if we are, can never be experts on politics or economics or foreign affairs or whatever, you know, nuclear physics. Um, but on International Women's Day, you have to get all the women in. And suddenly there's like women everywhere, right? Yeah, right. When women have been, I mean like, you know, I, I'm not just saying this, but women have been everywhere. Well, yeah, for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you very much. Good luck with your okay, interviews. Thank you. Good luck with your interviews tomorrow. Not that you need any. You have been... a good day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Happy International Women's Day. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that's it. Um, thank you to Marina and Nayuan for being on the show, coming and talking to me. Before I go, however, I want to take this little opportunity to make a dedication. Of course, to my mom and my two sisters who never let me forget that women exist in this world. Um, <laughs> uh, I, have to, I actually have to say thank you um, and a big shout out to the people who, who first made me aware about women's issues. This was when I first went over to Australia. Yeah. Kate, Isabel, Claire, Hina, uh, amazing women. There were so many more. Of course, I can't name everybody. Also, to all the women um, who are part of the Asia Journal Journalism Fellowship, that uh, my fellow fellows, um, happy International Women's Day. 
Okay lah, enough from me. I will catch you next week. Bye.